The Spartan Empire was one of the most powerful empires in history. But what led to its ultimate downfall? Hey guys, what's up? It's your channel, Curious Media. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to never ever miss an update from us in the future. In this video, we're going to explore some of the possible reasons why the Spartans lost their grip on power and ultimately disappeared from history. Stay tuned. When we hear the word Spartans, our minds immediately conjure up images of buffed super hoplites dressed in gleaming bronze armor and carrying long spears and shields. As the most feared men in antiquity, and maybe one of the most iconic warrior icons in history, alongside medieval knights and Japanese samurai, the ancient Spartans have attained a mythological, godlike stature. However, if we take out a few buzzwords like Gerard Butler, Leonidas, Thermopila, Honor, and This is Sparta, most people have no idea who the true ancient Spartans were. Most importantly, how did they vanish off the face of the earth if they were the most skilled fighters of their time? Why is their renowned city now in ruins? A key date in the fall of Sparta, if we were to choose one, would have been July 6, 371 BCE, the day the Thebans soundly defeated the Spartans at the Battle of Leuctra. Since the Spartans were able to endure for about 800 years after that conflict, this day is more of a starting point for our investigation than the actual event that put an end to their existence. Leuctra signaled the end times for the Spartans in reality because it confirmed their darkest fear, that they were not invincible. It damaged their reputation and undid years of meticulously planned propaganda. For them, the clock began to run backward from Lutra and drew closer to the ultimate collapse every day. To further grasp this assertion, let's go back in time a little bit. The beginning. There is no doubt that ancient Spartan life was very difficult. They possessed a number of conservative, antiquated regulations that attempted in vain to entirely militarize their society while utterly ignoring its economic and social advancement. Because trading and generally any relationships with foreigners were frowned upon, their economy was crippled. They had to deal with persistent civil unrest and rebellions. And finally, even the most renowned and honorable class, the Homo Aeoli, were thoroughly corrupted. Now the question is, how did Sparta, the dysfunctional family of ancient Greece, manage to not only survive, but also grow and be a significant force in Greece for more than three centuries? The answer is simple. A potent weapon employed numerous times throughout human history, from the oldest empire in the world to the present, propaganda. The Spartan propaganda. We must mention here that ancient Sparta wasn't a nightmare. It possessed both positive and negative features, much like every other human community. The Spartans chose to connect deeply with the three things that we mentioned before, while concealing all the other unfavorable ones with an invisibility cloak. The Spartan propaganda was so skillfully carried out and meticulously planned that to the other Greeks. Even their Arcadian and Argive neighbors, Sparta appeared to be a semi-mythical place full of strong and upright men who were ruled by the best laws humanity had ever seen. Imagine being told that Tolkien's elves exist and actually inhabit a remote country where few or no people are permitted. Assume you were about to engage these elves in combat, because you just didn't know anything about them other than the fact that they were the best fighters in the world. Unbeatable and fearless, you would be frozen with fear. This description seeks to evoke sensations in you that are similar to those the ancient Greeks experienced when fighting the Spartans. This is why, in a number of instances, just seeing their marching phalanx was enough to drive their enemies away. In every way they could, the Spartans themselves exaggerated these rumors. They maintained a vast network of spies who gathered crucial intelligence on both allies and enemies. All other Greeks either feared or admired them as a result of the numerous stories their agents circulated about their superhuman combat prowess and moral virtue, their bitter end. Unfortunately, relying largely on propaganda as a significant cost, your mythical reputation will crumble in a single blow, much like a house of cards. This blow was Lutra for the Spartans. They have already lost several times, but always found a reason for doing so. Such an excuse was not acceptable in Lutra. It was simply established that the Thebans produced excellent soldiers. After Leuctra, the world knew the truth about Sparta, a giant treading on precariously thin ice that was already starting to crack. Sparta continued to be a regional power in the Peloponnese after Leuctra, but it was never able to reclaim its position as the most important city among the Greeks. 
Instead, they made the decision to cut themselves off from the outside world. They wouldn't implement any significant social or economic reform and would instead keep utilizing the same laws that had not altered in nearly 500 years. After nearly 400 years of captivity, the Vicenians attained freedom after Leuctra. By reclaiming their home, they denied Sparta access to the wealthy Mycenaean Valley. While this was going on, only a few hundred homoioi remained due to the continued population reduction. Instead of eventually reforming and resolving their local disputes, these final Spartans chose to engage in a violent civil war to control the little bits of land that were still under their control. Instead of Hercules' once dominant noble forefathers, corrupted dictators and puppet rulers seized authority. Nabus, the last Spartan ruler, brilliantly captures the corruption and misery that ancient historians claim to have predominated in Sparta. Although he was soundly crushed by the Achaean League, he continued to be a minor pain in their side. The Achaean League then requested assistance from Rome. Nabus was instructed to go home and put an end to the invasions by the Romans. When the latter objected, they launched an invasion into Sparta, easily taking Gathio and compelling Sparta to join the Achaean League. A few years later, Nabus was killed, bringing an ugly end to Sparta's existence. So that is how the Spartan Empire went extinct. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like, share and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.